Can you tell us what does RDWC stand for? And can you explain the basic concept behind this hydroponic system? Sure. So DWC stands for deep water culture. And then RDWC stands for recirculating deep water culture. Uh, really, the only difference between the two is that in RDWC, all of the buckets are connected and using the same nutrient solution, which is recirculating between each pot. So basically, in an RDWC system, if we say it's six plants, you'll have seven buckets, six of them being occupied by plants, and then one being your control bucket. So all of the buckets are connected with piping and sharing the same nutrients. And not only is the water circulating through all of the buckets, but it's being aerated as well, and each plant has a net pot where the plant sits, and through that pot, the roots grow down and are completely submerged in the solution. Nice, pretty straightforward description there. So what are some of the pros and cons to growing in an RDWC system? Uh, I would say I might be a little bit biased for this question, but right off the top, the first thing that comes to mind is rate of growth for sure. I mean, these plants grow extremely fast and big in an RDWC system, which can shave off weeks of veg time, which can also save you some money. Also in RDWC, you're generally going to be using 50% less nutrients throughout the run just because the roots are sitting directly in the solution at all time, making it much easier for them to absorb. That means you can get away with a lot lower PPMs. Also being able to get a zero PPM flush, uh, I know that's possible in some other systems, but that's really important for me. And then another pro would be maintenance. I mean, once you have the system set up and running, you can just keep reusing it indefinitely. And some cons um, would be setup costs. If you're not frugal, it can get pretty expensive to buy an RDWC or build an RDWC system. And then like with any hydroponics, you have moving parts, which also always leaves room for failure. And I actually have my system set up in a way that is kind of fail proof, I like to believe at least for the electrical components that are involved. Okay. And then kind of getting deeper into how the system works, what are the main components of an RDWC system and how do they work together to grow the plants? Uh, so the main components would be first your circulation pump, and that's what keeps the water circulating throughout each bucket and ensures the solution is always mixed and moving. Stagnant water is never really a good thing. And then also your air pump, which keeps the water oxygenated and makes it livable basically for your roots. Uh, roots need enough oxygen for growth and that also helps prevent root rot. Uh, with those two things, you can pretty much make a system out of anything. Any container pretty much works as long as it's opaque and all you really need after that is a net pot. And then you also have a, a reservoir. Then the tubing connects to a bucket and typically in our DWC, it's multiple buckets. And then within the buckets, you have which you talked about the pump and then the, the air stones and, and stuff like that, right? Yep. Each bucket has its own air stone and then you'll have one circulation pump that sits inside the control bucket and that's what, and you'll have a return line. So the water comes from the control bucket, goes through all of the plant buckets, and then it comes back through the return line back to the control bucket. And that's how it makes its circuit. Are you running the pump and the air stones 24 seven? Yes. All times 24 seven. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrowIt15 to save on any of their products.